Are these even going to fit? Oh, geez. No more books, Sarah, right? Yep. Joke's on you. Hey, guys. It's Sarah, and I have one more book haul. Okay. These are books that were gifts to me over the holidays. Very excited about them. And then I do have a stack of books because I 100% hit that 50% off Barnes & Noble sale. I definitely did that. I got a little stack of books because those never go on sale. So how can you not? And I am officially done buying books for quite a while. I'm not kidding. I'm making a big effort to not bring a whole lot more books into my house for the next, I'm not kidding, like six months. Um, just to kind of start cleaning out my shelves a little bit. So the first half of 2022 is going to be a big focus on reading the books off my shelves and just making some more room. So, all right, but let me go ahead and show you what came in for the rest of the month of December. And I'm so excited about all of them. Okay. Um, so we went to North Carolina for a few days over the Christmas break. And when I came home, there were quite a few packages waiting for me from you guys, which was so sweet and completely unnecessary. Thank you so much. Um, the first one I opened was from Melinda, this woman. Okay. So she sent me The Circus in Winter. This is by Kathy Day, which is a book I've never heard of, but circuses are one of my favorite settings for a book. So I'm definitely interested in it. And this one takes place at a circus that tends to uh, set up shop in an Indiana town in the winter, which you would not think that <laughs> that would be a place to hold a circus in the middle of winter, but that's what happens. Um, and it kind of follows the people who are there. Now, along with this, she sent me the cutest bookmark, you guys. I squealed when I saw this bookmark. So it's one of those ribbon bookmarks that goes, um, it's like a strap and you put it around your book and it sits on the hardcover. Look at this. It's a little circus tent, you guys. I'm dying. <laughs> so you literally will um, put this on your book while you're reading it, I would take off the dust jacket. When I read hardcovers, I always take off the dust jacket, but let me just show you what it looks like. So you put it on and it holds your place. You can put it around whatever page you're on. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I'm dying. It is so cute. Um, so this came from, let's see, Book Bandits. So I will try to, I'll look them up and I'll leave a link um, in there, but oh my gosh, Melinda. You outdid yourself. Like, I can't. This is so cute. Thank you so much. Okay, the next one actually came from my daughter, Layla, which was super sweet. Um, this one came from Disa. So Disa, thank you so much. I hope I said your name correctly. Um, she sent her the story of Alexander Hamilton. Um, and this is by Christine Platt. So it's a cute little biography about Alexander Hamilton and his life and stuff. And it's got like fun little charts and drawings and like cute little illustrations. It'll be perfect for Layla. Um... And it just goes all into like the Revolutionary War and Alexander Hamilton and all that stuff. And if you guys know my daughter, <laughs> she is obsessed with the musical Hamilton. She has watched it. I'm not kidding. She's probably watched it 50 times. I'm not exaggerating. She knows all the songs. She sings them all the time. She's got Hamilton bed sheets. She has a Hamilton backpack. She has a Hamilton face mask. It's all Hamilton with that girl. And um, so she was really excited when... Um, when I pulled this out and she was like, that's for me. <laughs> so um, thank you very much, Jesse. I appreciate you thinking about her. And then the next one was a shock. I was like, what? So this is from Amy Hayes. Amy, you did not have to do this at all. She sent me Gilded by Marissa Meyer. And I am just about to finish up the Lunar Chronicles. I'm um, actually, by the time this goes up, I should have it done. I'm planning to finish it on New Year's Eve uh, before the start of the new year. And I've just really enjoyed everything I've read from Marissa Meyer so far. And I've, I've read a bit. So um, I was really excited about this one on my most anticipated list. I just hadn't picked it up yet. This is a Rumpelstiltskin retelling. So I'm here for it. And thank you, Amy. Like, <laughs> what? Thank you. Okay. Um, these next two come from the same person. These are from Maria Sparrow. So thank you, Maria, very much. Um, she actually sent me one that I had just added to my wish list, and I saw this talked about on Rachel's channel, who is Shades of Orange. 
She reads a lot of sci-fi and fantasy, and this was one of her favorites of this year. So I added it to my wishlist because it sounded really interesting. And that is Shadows of the Short Days by Alexander Dan. Um, mm, this, I don't know. I do not know how to say that. I'm not even going to pretend that I do. So um, by Alexander. We're just going to call him that. <laughs> um, and... I don't like when she was describing it, it sounded really interesting. So I obviously added it to my thing. But when I look at the synopsis, it's, I'm a little like, I don't know that I could regurgitate what this is about, but I'm excited to go into it at some point. Um, I think this is a little bit more sci-fi than fantasy, but there is magic that involved as well. But I think that it's heavily sci-fi. So definitely wanting to get more into sci-fi, especially adult sci-fi. So I think this will be fantastic. So thank you, Maria. Maria also sent me one of my most anticipated books that has come out this year and I had just hadn't picked it up yet. And that's Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I'm so excited to read this. Um, and this book is stunning. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, it's like shimmery. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, this one is a fantasy book, a young adult fantasy book. And if you've read the Caraval series, I'm pretty positive it's going to be, you know, kind of that same feeling and um, just kind of like making trades and there's tricks and you don't know what's real and what's not super into that. So um, and I really like Stephanie Garper's writing, so I'm excited for her newest one. But thank you so much, Maria. And then I got a gift from Jenna. Um, she actually sent me something that I have already read and I had on my wish list because there's a few books on my wish list that I've already read, but I either listened to them or I read them on my Kindle, but I want physical copies for my shelves because they were favorites. And so she sent me Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall and I just went, oh, <laughs> when I opened it, I was so excited because I loved this book. And there's a sequel coming out next year, which is on my most anticipated releases. Um, so I will be hopefully picking that one up next year as well. Um, but very excited to own this physically. So I, it was definitely one that I wanted on my shelves because it was in my top 10 of last year. So love it. Thank you so much, Jenna. And this next one that was sent to me, guys, is The Usual Rules by Joyce Maynard. And this was kindly sent from Cassandra. Thank you so much. I loved your note. Thank you. Thank you. And this book centers around 9-11 as a backdrop. It follows a young girl whose mother works in one of the Twin Towers and she is in the building that day when 9-11 hits and she ultimately dies. And so we follow our young girl who is left with her stepfather and she ends up moving in with her real father in California. And so you follow her trying to <laughs> adjust to this new life that was forced on her. Um, so this one has been highly recommended by um, actually like award, like library awards have been for this one, like one of the best YA books. And it's highly acclaimed um, through librarians and stuff. So that's awesome. And yeah, so thank you so much, Cassandra. I really appreciate it. Okay, this next one was sent to me from a publisher and that is book one of the Conjurers series. And this is by Brian Anderson. And this was sent to me from Random House Kids. Now, this has a third book coming out this year. So I was offered the third book, but I hadn't heard of the series yet. And when I looked into it, I was like, ooh, that actually sounds like something I would really enjoy. And so I did say, you know, if you have more copies of the third book, I would love a copy and I'll grab the other two myself. And she was like, I'll send you the whole thing. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I did get book one already. Books two and three are still on the way. But book one is here. And this one follows um, Alex and Emma, who are brother and sister, and their parents have vanished. They have to go live with their uncle, who is um, very strict and has very harsh rules. And they find out the reason for that is because um, his house ends up getting attacked by these flying skeletons, and they have no idea what's going on. They're able to escape just in time, but they end up escaping into this magical realm that they never knew existed. And um, it kind of goes from there, and magic is in trouble, and they become the ones who need to save the day. So um, I thought it sounded really cute. This also has some really cute illustrations in it, like full page illustrations, which is really cool. So um, yeah, I thought I would give this a try, but like, look at that. That's really neat. And this might be something that my daughter Layla might like as well, especially with some of the dark themes. She kind of likes 
some of the darker, creepier books, if you will. Um, we kind of figured that out as her reading taste has started to grow. So I think this is something that she would probably want to pick up as well. But I do have book one and books two and three should be on the way to me. This next one, you guys. <laughs> So um, this is a book that was sent to me by Harper. It comes out in January. It is a book that I accepted when they offered it to me because the way it was described, it sounded like a standalone book. It's not, it's book six in a series. So this is Find Me by Al Fair Burke, which is book number six in the Ellie Hatcher series, which I did not know <laughs> going into it. So if I had known that, I probably wouldn't have accepted it. But Al Fair Burke is an author that I want to give a try. Um, I've heard really good things about her writing, but I don't want to start on book six in the middle of a series. Whether or not I can just go into it anyway, I, I would want to start from the beginning. So um, I'm going to do an Instagram post about this in January on the release date, which I did promise to do. So I will do that, but I'm not going to read it yet because I would want to start in the beginning. So this may be something like maybe I can go find book one at the library or something like that. But if you have read the Ellie Hatcher series and you're excited about it, this one does come out in January. Okay, so another book that is was kind of a gift. This was a gift exchange that we did with our book club for the month of December. We decided to exchange books and do a big like book exchange. So that was fun. So the one that I ended up with was Just Haven't Met You Yet. This is by Sophie Cousins. And I have not read anything by Sophie Cousins yet. So I'm excited to get into this one. But this is an adult uh, contemporary. And I actually will be reading this in January because at that book club, we decided that we would all read the books that we received for the month of January. And then in our meeting, we'll come together and talk about those books and then we'll do another exchange. So um, we thought that would be a lot of fun. So I will be reading this in January for a book club. I'll buy my onesies, but that's, I think it's going to be fun. So um, yeah, but I'm excited for this one. So let's see what it's about because I don't even really know yet. Okay, so this follows our main character, Laura. She's on a business trip and it's not going very well. It starts off very awkward with a really embarrassing encounter with one of the most beautiful men she's ever seen at the airport. And uh, they accidentally switch suitcases. He gets hers, she gets his. And uh, so now she is trying to track him down. But upon realizing she has the wrong suitcase, obviously she kind of goes through it a little bit and realizes that this might be the man of her dreams based on what's in that suitcase. So she spends the rest of her vacation trying to track him down and, you know, not only switch suitcases, but maybe see if there's something there between them. So that sounds super adorable. I'm excited to read it. It's nice and short. Um, so I have this one. Another contemporary romance that I got from Book of the Month. <laughs> I used one of my credits to get an add-on and I got The Love Hypothesis. This is by Allie Hazelwood. This is one that I think I featured in a video where I was getting FOMO for some books because <laughs> I'd never picked this up when it was a Book of the Month option. And I had some regrets about that. I have a feeling this is going to be on a lot of people's favorites of because I have heard absolutely nothing but amazing things about this book. So I'm really excited to read it. I have heard this is like Kylo Ren in book form <laughs> or Adam Driver in book form, if you will. Um, and I'm here for that. So yeah, I'm excited to read it. Okay, so now let's get into the Barnes and Noble book haul. I bought six books of Barnes and Noble, all hardcover and all except one are part of series. So there's that. Okay, first one I grabbed is Once Upon a Wardrobe. This is by Patty Callahan. Um, this is a book that has been raved about for the past couple of months because it just recently came out towards the end of the year. And it just sounds so magical. I've actually personally been recommended this book as well. My friend Candace said, Sarah, you have to read this. It's so good. And so once she said that, I was like, oh, okay. And then I also heard about it on the Currently Reading podcast. They were raving about it as well. So I had to grab it. So this book follows a woman named Megs. She is a very scientific person. She relies on facts and numbers and all that kind of stuff. Um, the only thing in her life that is really um, puzzling to her is her younger brother, George, who has an illness that is going to take his life. And it's something that frustrates her because she there's no explanations for things. And so she struggles with that. Uh, George finds his favorite book, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. And he asked her to figure out where Narnia is and where it came from and um, where the inspiration from all that came. And so she takes it upon herself to track down C.S. Lewis and ask him these questions so she can take that information back to George. But I think it becomes um, a little harder for her than she thinks it's going to be. So that sounds awesome. Super excited for it. 
Okay, uh, these next two are part of the same series and I grabbed the only <laughs> hardbacks that were available at the store. Um, so I grabbed books number two in the Pages and Co series by Anna James. Um, the first book is The Book Wanderers, which I have on my shelves in hardcover, haven't read it yet, but this is book number two, which is called The Lost Fairy Tales. And I grabbed a book number four as well, The Book Smugglers. They did not have book three in hardback at the store that I was at, so I wasn't able to grab that one. So that one's still on my wish list, but I'm not ready to read it yet anyway, but I went ahead and grabbed these while they were half off. Um, this series followed a young girl named Tilly and her grandparents own a bookstore. And one day she is helping in the bookstore and some of her favorite book characters walk into the store. And then she realizes that she can actually go into her favorite books. Like we're talking Alice in Wonderland, Anna Green Gables, characters like that. So this sounds super magical and awesome. And I, I love the premise and I do have three of the four books now. <laughs> Just need to find book three eventually. But um, yeah, so I was super excited to grab these two. I also grabbed book number two in the Inheritance Games series. Um, this is the Hawthorne Legacy. And I have the Inheritance Games on my shelves. So I went ahead and grabbed number two so that when I'm ready to read that. And then I think book number three comes out in 2022 as well. So um, but yeah, this one follows the first book is uh, a girl is struggling for money, I believe. And then she is randomly contacted saying that someone has left her <laughs> all of his fortune in his will. And she has no idea who this person is. So she goes to try to figure out what's going on, where the mistake came from. And she ends up at this estate with his family. <laughs> and um, there is like some circumstances to where she's going to be able to inherit his entire estate. She has no idea who this person is. She has no idea why she's there, but um, it becomes kind of like a game and there's like puzzles and things to solve and stuff like that. So that sounds right up my alley. Um, so I'm excited to dive into this. Okay, the next one I grabbed <laughs> is book number three in a series. I have the first two books in hardcover as well. I have not started the series yet, but I wanted to get this while it was half off because these books are ginormous and they are not cheap. So I got Suns Will Rise. This is by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell. This is book number three in the System Divine series. And the first one is Sky Without Stars. And then I do have the second book as well. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but I do have that in hardcover. So I have this this entire, like all three books in hardcover now, and they are all this big. Um, the first book is kind of pitched as Les Mis in space. I'm into that. And I'm now I have read Les Miserables and I have obviously memorized the entire musical. It's one of my favorites. So um, I'm definitely interested in giving the series a read. And my friend Amanda from The Curly Reader read the first book and she really enjoyed it. So that gives me hope that I'm going to really enjoy it as well. So um, I went ahead and grabbed this because it's huge and I got it for half off. So I couldn't say no. And the last book that I got at Barnes & Noble and the last book that I'm hauling for a while, you guys, for real, is book number four in the Ember and the Ashes series. This is A Sky Beyond the Storm, and this is the fourth and final book, so I now have all of the books. I read the first one, loved it. I was obsessed with it when I read it, and I haven't continued on. I don't know why, but I have <laughs> all of them now, all four, and I can definitely continue on and finish this series, and I really, really want to do that. I'm trying to decide if I want to reread An Ember and the Ashes or not, or if I just want to maybe read a very spoilery review about it um, with all the details and stuff. I haven't really decided yet. I might just do that because I think I remember enough that I wouldn't have to reread it. Um, but I was completely obsessed with it when I read that book. So definitely want to keep going and read that whole series. And now I have them all readily available to me because I this was the only one I needed. So yeah, very happy about this. Okay, I'm not kidding, guys. That's going to be it for a while. The only books that are going to be hauled in the near future are going to be anything sent from publishers, any gifts. And I think I have two books on pre-order right now that I'm going to leave those and that's going to be it. Like, <laughs> I don't want to bring a whole lot of else. And then like, I'm still going to be getting book of the month 
as well. So you'll see those coming in as well. That's the one thing I'm allowing myself to continue with book of the month. But um, other than that, like I'm not going to bookstores, I'm not going to be shopping online for thrifting or anything like that. Just let it be. I have more than enough. And I really would like to make a dent in my shelves. And the only way I can do that is if I read without bringing in <laughs> more than what I'm reading, which 100% has been happening. So we're going to stay strong. We're in it to win it. It's all good. And I'm actually really am very motivated and excited to make a dent in my shelves and start making some room. So it's happening. All right. Let me know down below if you guys went to the Barnes and Noble sale. It was a huge thing. Everybody was talking about it. <laughs> Again, I have never seen Barnes and Noble so busy before. And yeah, let me know if you guys went and if you did, what did you pick up? And that's going to be it for me. So again, thank you to everyone who sent me books. I'm so grateful. And thank you to the publishers who sent me some books as well. Um, and that's going to, that's going to be it for a little while. So hope you guys have a great day. Let me know all your thoughts and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.